Wow. All right, here we are, day two of uh, Smoky Mountain Mayhem. Uh, <coughs> things are just about to get started here. Um, didn't get much sleep last night, too many people putting off fireworks and <laughs> drunks. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and let these guys introduce themselves, uh, and uh, we'll find out who they are and where they're from. I'll go ahead and start off. What's up, guys? I'm Alex Rivers from Ash of Eden. And I'm Josh. I'm James. I'm Michael. We are from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. You're from Alabama? Yes. Okay. Now, if you hear a lot of music, uh, Wayland is uh, doing their sound check, so we're going to try and drown them out later. Um, so, how long did it take you guys to get here? To... Right, uh, almost six hours. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're from Northwest Indiana, nine hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a great drive. Um, so, um, how did you guys become your band? How, how did you guys get it started? Where did you guys? Well, when we first started out, it was just kind of like a, an ad, basically, and then I found JR, and from there we just, over the course of, I guess, like five or six years, we ended up uh, switching members until we currently reached this lineup. And how long have you guys all been together? Uh, well, with all of us, it's been like a few months. Yeah, I, I, I'm the last one to come in. I've been with them about three months. Okay. Like, hey, here's the CD. Learn this stuff. We've got a show in two weeks. <laughs> That's three. Uh, We've been together for about a year now. Okay. Yeah, but he, he's done a really great job. Like, he, he pretty much, like, we had some shows coming up within the next couple months, and he just, like, pretty much immediately picked up our entire set from there. Okay. So That's it, cool. It's been a really great uh, experience. So, you, as a band, it's been about a year? And yeah, about a year. Oh, okay. So, you guys are relatively new. and uh, That's cool. Um, have you guys been able to get out and play quite a bit? Or? Yeah, we've been make, we've been making uh, great strides in getting a bunch of shows lined up. Uh, we've been doing about two to three shows a month uh, for the past, I guess, well, three months. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah since he since he joined, but uh, like we already had all those lined up, and we were like, we're we're going to play whether we have a bassist or not, <laughs> and uh, like. Luckily, we found him in time to do most of the major stuff out of town. Okay. We played Birmingham, Nashville, uh, a few out other Alabama places like Athens and Huntsville. Okay. All right. Man, it's hot. Yeah. Man. It is <laughs> you got, Yesterday, the, the band that when the sun was coming down, it was coming like right between the building and the awning, and it was yeah. like right on. <laughs> that was like the worst. They were like, we had it the worst. But hopefully, what time do you guys go on? We go on early. Okay, so you'll be okay. It'll still be back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I just wish it was winter again. I'm definitely a cold type of guy. Yeah, me too. We're from up north. Yeah, we're, yeah. This heat shit. That no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, where did you guys, how did you guys get started in music? What were your influences growing up? Uh, actually, for me, I really grew up listening to bands like My Chemical Romance, uh, Taking Back Thursday, a bunch of the 2000s era post-hardcore music. What really got me into being in a band, though, is I saw a, uh, I don't know why, but I saw a, uh, a shirt that said, Remove Before Flight. I was in a, uh, air, I was in a Navy and Air exhibit, and I was just like, that would make a really cool band name. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I was like 15 at the time, but it just stuck in my head from that point on, I wanted to be in a band. <laughs> name it, it never back, it never got named that. Never, <laughs> never got named that. No, never even came up, huh? No. no. <laughs> How'd you get yours? Where'd you get started? Um, I was in the school band, and I really just got a flavor for performing. Yeah. I wanted to keep doing that after after school. Yeah. So I, I just picked up the drum set and kept going. You kept going. Okay. Uh, I got into music. My parents called me and started keep me out of trouble. Yeah. And, uh, I started when I was 11, I just kind of played on my own, and uh, I took, I took lessons for about a year, but after that I just kind of played on my own, yeah. and evolved into what it is now. Okay. So, where do you start, though? <laughs>
vocalist looking for guitarist, bassist, and drummer. Uh, and I was just like, I'm just going to take uh, whoever I get and try to make something out of it. And uh, every various incarnation of this band has sounded totally different from the last. Uh, and that shows throughout our uh, set list because we've got various eras of our uh, music throughout right. it. Uh, but, um, like, uh, ever since me and JR met back in uh, 2009, but, like, uh, his, uh, he's got a lot of Pantera, In Flames, 80s uh, type of influences. Yeah, I, was pro, I was primarily a blues guitar player, yeah. playing classic okay. rock, and then it, it just it kind of changed for me over the years. And the, the songs that we were writing just came out you know, heavier, harder, and heavier. Yeah, we uh, we started out as kind of like a classic rock, like a, like we sounded like we were playing music from like the I guess the seventies, yeah. early eighties at first, and then we met a drummer uh, who first joined the band. His name was Josiah, and he was death metal oriented. <laughs> And that pushed us towards a heavier sound, and then we just kept going that way with okay. every version ever since. We're very uh, melodic influenced, though, mostly. We're not like uh, a lot of breakdowns or anything. We're more like the guitar is more lead oriented, the vocals are more melodic. I do do screaming and growling and stuff, but uh, it's mostly revolving around singing. Uh, we just we try to write good songs mostly. Yeah. Uh, we don't really care. What it like, what genre it sounds like, or whatever. We just, if it sounds good to us, we play it. So yeah. like, like we don't really fit in any one scene, especially like uh, in our area. The big things, deathcore, uh, yeah. really break down right. heavy, yeah. grindy stuff. Yeah, it's headed more towards a gent sound now recently because that's, that's the what two the kids yeah. going for. Yeah, that's the two things that I hear from a lot of the the major touring bands. I mean, I've you know talking to uh, like at Rock on the Range, they said the two things you need to do is is write good songs and um, be able to work together and and just and work at it. You know, right. I mean, if there's issues, obviously, especially if you start touring, there's going to be issues on the road. They say get through it. Just you know, this they, is our first taste of that. Like, yeah, this is the furthest out we've been as a group together, and we've also got two other guys that are with us helping us out: uh, Kyle Prescott and uh, Joey. I don't even know his last name because it goes by <laughs> Joey Judgment, on the line, and that's how I've always known yeah. him. Joey Judgment. Who we abuse. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what they're for. Yeah. He's our merch guy, and Kyle's our manager. Okay, but like they both pretty much do grunt work when needed. Yeah, we all try to. Grab that Dude, face that cap and get it up them <laughs> stairs, man. This guy has like the most equipment out of everybody. Usually it's the drummer that's like super hard. Uh, no, like, ev- so heaviest. many things. You got the heaviest? heaviest. <laughs> Everything he's got is like at least 100 pounds. We're <laughs> just like, man. Get, well, then, some, get then, some aluminum. You shit. have to have one of those OSHA lifting safety stickers on all of his boxes. There you go. Get you, that should be your like thing on your on all your equipment. Lift with your get legs. Back brace required. Yeah, two man lift. Yeah, <laughs> team keep, hand, keep hands clear. Yeah. Without this guy right here, it would have been a lot harder for us to get out here because he's got the he's got the van. He's got the uh, tow behind. So oh like, really? He's really like he, he pretty much made uh, they got this lucky whole they got ability. Yeah. <laughs> we would we would have had to take like two cars or some crazy stuff <laughs> all the way out here. Yeah, rent a trailer and shit. Yeah. 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 So what's coming up next for you guys after this? What are you guys gonna be doing? Uh, we're aiming at a uh, show at a place called Camp Pink, and uh, I think it's Jacksonville, Jacksonville Alabama. It's for charity. Uh, it's called mental, the Choice, a the mental choice, health initiative. Mental health. Yeah. The cool. Sounds of Summer 2016. It festival. is July 16th, 17th. A lot of festivals. 15th and 16th. 15th and 16th. And then we'll be at the Zydeco in Birmingham August uh, 4th. And we're also working on a music video for our single Magic No More. We haven't released it yet. We're planning on releasing the song along with the music video. Okay. Uh, we've been using the song itself to send to more professional outlets and stuff to try to catch, uh, get yeah, some ground, get find some help. To yeah, well, yeah, send it to me. Please send, send it to listen me. to our yeah. music. Send, send me anything. Yeah. Um, just go to AsgardRadio.com and you can uh, find me on there. Um, and then um, it my emails are really easy, right. slider68 at hotmail.com. You just send it to me and we'll get it on. Also, before I let you go, um, 
we have an app. If you guys like start getting out on the road, we, we created an app called Asgard Connect. And what it does, it connects you with people around the country that will help you out and put you up. And instead of sleeping in vans and sleeping in, you know, expensive hotels, yeah. there's people that will put you up. Um, and, and, and just to help you out, you know, give That's you a place awesome. to sleep, give you a place, you know, do laundry, take a shower, you know. So, I mean, it's on any download and just, it's just Asgard Connect. Um, I just started it. Uh, there's only maybe about like eight, ten names, but I update it every month. So, if you know anybody in your area that'll put people up, you know, fans up, then go. cool. All right, they got to go. They got to meet you. Thank you. Thank Good you, guys. Peace out. That's me. And uh, have a great Peace show. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you down the road. And I'm a, I'm a